Unit 8F, English in Use. Exercise 1, page 132. Dolphin gets new tail. In Clearwater, Florida, an injured bottlenose dolphin named Winter has gained the ability to swim properly again. Winter lost her tail after she was caught in a crab trap when she was a baby. She was rescued, but she wasn't expected to survive, as dolphins need their tails to avoid predators and to jump out of the water to breathe. However, Winter amazed everyone by thinking of a new way to swim. Moving from side to side like a shark, instead of up and down like other dolphins. Now an artificial tail made of silicone and plastic has been made for winter. It's an amazing story of survival that is even inspiring people who have a disability. Exercise 2, page 132. Complete the gifts from 1 to 5 with words formed from the words in capitals. То есть вам нужно сформировать новые слова из тех слов, которые записаны большими буквами. Что сначала нужно сделать? Сначала нужно прочитать весь текст, понять о чем он. Прочитав этот текст, мы поймем, что он про выпуск маленьких черепашек в море. Далее мы смотрим на те слова, которые у нас написаны большими буквами. И заполняем пропуски, соответственно, цифрам, которые стоят ну, на той же линии, что и эти слова. Джесси sat down silently on the sand with the other... Пропускаем who had, came, uh, who had come to see the turtles hatch from their nests. Итак, некая Джесси села на песке с другими, и нам нужно от слова to образовать ну, слово, которое подходит компаньоны нашей Джесси. Логично, что, конечно, здесь подходит слово tourist, но у нас мы видим слово the other, и мы понимаем, что турист был не один. Поэтому записываем наше слово to. Дальше образуем от него существительное турист и ставим его во множественном числе. Окей, okay, let's continue. The кто-то там. Walkers had warned the group of their mind have to wait. Ну, давайте здесь остановимся. У нас с вами слово conserve. Это глагол, да? Консервировать, сохранять что-то. А мы понимаем, что здесь у нас должно быть вот это слово поставлено перед существительным во множественном числе. Workers. Перед существительным во множественном числе, естественно, мы прекрасно знаем, ставится прилагательный. То есть нам нужно с вами слово conserve сохранять, да, образовать прилагательное. Угу. Ну, получится у нас здесь даже не совсем прилагательное, здесь у нас все-таки существительное. Работники заповедника или заповедниковские работники. Консерв. Записываем опять же слово консерв. И я очень надеюсь, что слово «заповедник» вы знаете. Консервы. И нам не понадобится. Консервейшн. Консервейшн воркерс. Окей. Номер три. Так, где там у нас начало? 
uh, also as baby turtles uh, towards the moonlight uh, moonlit sorry sea when they hatch they would also have to wait in total дальше пропуск so that the turtles и так далее и так далее слово dark у нас здесь total кромешная тотальная dark ness okay dark ness okay and uh, now i hope that you will finish this exercise by yourself be very very careful word peace and uh, the word amaze mm -hmm. спокойный и удивительный у вас должно получиться okay good luck Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Series English. My name is Antonia, and today we're going to study a new phrasal verb group. We're going to talk about carry today. First of all, carry away. It can have a more or less literal meaning, well, to remove forcefully. This is more or less understandable, logical, but it can have some other meanings which are not that obvious. For example, it can mean to cause to lose self-control. Usually in this meaning we are supposed to use carry away in passive. So I am carried away. So something makes me lose my self-control. Or it can also mean to delight somebody or to enrapture somebody. Also in passive. An example. When I hear somebody speaking German, I just get carried away. I stop talking. Ich führe ein paar interessante Untersuchungen des quantenmechanischen Interferenzeffekts nach Aharon auf Bohm durch. Gerade teste ich die Phasenverschiebung durch elektrisches Potential. Well, so let's continue. The second phrasal verb for today is to carry off. It can also mean to remove forcefully. And once again, this is more or less a um, literal meaning. But carry off can also be understood as to win or to handle, to manage something successfully or to cause to die. The project was really challenging, but she carried it off beautifully. Moving on to the third verb, which is to carry on. This is probably the most popular idiom of this group, phrasal verb group, with carry. So to carry on actually means to go on. So these are synonyms. To carry on is to continue what you have been doing. So carry on watching my video, carry on studying English. Excuse me, could mm -hmm. you help me please? Mm-hmm. What? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, just carry on. The phrasal verb number four is to carry out. You might have already heard it, no wonder, because this one is also quite popular and used very frequently in the scientific area, in scientific articles and uh, magazines and uh, letters, correspondence, um, speaking. And so in science it's used a lot because, for example, you can carry out an experiment. So to carry out means to accomplish or to complete. So, to carry out an experience, this is kind of a set expression. It's used a lot. Usually, what do you do with the experiment? You carry it out. So, once again, to carry out means to complete, to make, or to accomplish. An example. To carry out this experiment, first of all, you need to start speaking with this woman. This is step one. And the last phrasal verb for today, number five, is to carry through, which means to complete or enable somebody to endure, like help somebody to go through something or to support. An example, 
The money you've lent me will carry me through the week. So I will be able to live for a week using your money. You support me and that's why the money you've lent me will carry me through the week. Keep in mind that phrasal verbs are part and parcel of the English language. They are one of the most difficult, challenging, complicated topics of the English vocabulary. You are supposed to know them, at least the most used ones, if you want to understand English speakers easily or you want to speak profoundly yourself. And that's it. So these are the most popular phrasal verbs with carry and the ones which you should pay special attention to are carry away, carry on and carry out. These are very popular. They used a lot and very often. That's why make sure to remember them. So I hope that you found this class useful and you are going to use these phrasal verbs or you're going to understand them easily if you hear them so you won't have problems. So I hope to see you soon. Continue studying English with me. Carry on studying English with me. And I hope to see you soon in my other videos. So, happy English and Russian practice! Bye-bye! P.S. Do not forget that I have the second channel where I teach English in Russian. So, for Russians who start studying English. Check it out if you want and see you guys! Bye!